has been way too long since my last fan mail. That means it's it's piling up. We've got a whole lot of fan mail, so this will probably be... Whoa! Not good. So this will probably be divided up into two different fan mails for you. I've got my handy assistant right here. Hello. Liam, right here. We've got several videos planned. We actually filmed a video. We, we went to Universal Studios in Legoland almost two months ago. We shot a video of us talking about it a month ago, but we've been so far behind on everything that we haven't edited it yet. So I'm trying to teach him to edit. We've got his workstation set up. So between these videos that we're shooting right now that I can teach him to edit, and then those videos, he'll be my master editor in just seven years from now. Here, cut this package open. This is from Michael. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Uh, oh, oh! Uh, right there, right there, give it a cut, give it a cut. Uh, All right. And I really do apologize. It's taken me so long to open all of this. Um, it, it's been a crazy busy several months where I was out of town. My wife is out of town. We had some family stuff. And then the kids have been out of school. So wild, wild, crazy times. Michael sent a selection of movies. First up, we have The Avengers. The, the Avengers. Avengers. I actually saw this version of The Avengers in the theater when it first came out. So it's based off of an old 60s TV show that was British, and they made a movie about it that was not very well received. But so there's actually a different movie called The Avengers that came out about 25 years ago. Another important detail, you've started watching The Office with us. Kind of. Kind of. Chloe's become obsessed. Chloe, so maybe we need a Chloe here. The Office is actually originally a British show with different, like, You'll watch the first episode of the British show and the US show, and it's the same script, except the names are different. And they talk with British accents. But so, he sent me the entire series. So I, I've seen a lot of it. I don't think I've seen all of it, but I definitely haven't watched it in like forever. So this is cool, because I've been needing, me needing to watch through this and become an, uh, an expert in British comedy. That makes sense. Next up, Moonrise Kingdom. There's a new Wes Anderson movie coming out in just uh, well, about a week and a half from now. And I have never seen this movie. I yeah. used to be huge into Wes Anderson back 20 years ago. Uh, back when, right, right around when you were born, 20 years ago. And um, I was huge when uh, Royal Tenenbaums came out. I was so excited for Life Aquatic. And then life got in the way. And I haven't seen a bunch of his movies in the last 15... I don't, I don't know if I've seen any of his movies in like 15 years. Which is crazy because he was like my favorite director in 2002. So this is one that I've needed to watch so desperately and it hasn't happened. Oh, here's one that might be fun for you. Remember what movie we watched last week when your mother was out of town? Late at night? With the kid that you wanted to watch? Angry Birds. I watched Angry Birds. No, the one that like it... When you're up to like two in the morning, there's a little kid in it. Oh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Yeah, I said Angry Birds because I watched Angry Birds immediately after that ended. Wait, how late were you up last week? I don't know. I put that movie on at like two in the morning. What are you talking about? <laughs> Anger Management. This is another Adam Sandler film from that same era where he was like yelling and shouting and stuff like that. So fun ah! times. Ah, that's right. Ah! Ah! That's right. This this will be a fun one to edit. Finally, we have Mean Streets. This one fits perfectly into a project I'm starting as soon as I can, which is watching all the Martin Scorsese movies. Uh, I don't own Mean Streets, so this is one that was on my radar of movies I need to get. I haven't seen Mean Streets in about 20 years, so I don't remember anything about it. But I need to watch it in the coming months because I want to do a Martin Scorsese ranking. So, Michael, thank you so much. Next up, we've got a couple packages from frequent mailer, the Daniel Skinner. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Not, not in my finger, right? Yeah, 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 that's good. Oh, you keep moving and you're not cutting it. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. 
What do we have from the Daniel Skinner? First up, we've got The Clone Wars, the complete season five. five. So this is like, we, we've like needed to watch through this whole show for years. That it's just tough. Cause like, I want to watch through it with you. And that that's always the hurdle. Cause there's always so many things I need to watch through that kind of sets that back. But with Ahsoka coming out, we probably should watch some of it. Cause Ahsoka's from Clone Wars. Then we have The Mist, the Frank Darabont, super depressing film starring Thomas Jane. Thomas Jane is someone that I bumped into in real life one time as he was leaving a film festival. He bumped, so he played the Punisher, and he bumped into me, and I, I'm, I'm like bigger than him. He's the Punisher, so I was like, I'm, I'm bigger and more. Like I was motivated by him to like get into shape back in the day, and then when he, by the time he bumped into me, I was in better shape than he was, like bigger, like. Like, I'd do a better job of killing mobsters in New York City than he would. Except for the fact that I don't really know anything about guns. Then we have Stripes. I have never seen Stripes. Somehow I've never seen Stripes, which I'm pretty sure if I told my father-in-law that, I think this is like his, well, this is his era of, like, comedies and stuff, so he probably loves this one. But I've never seen it. So that's why I need to check out. And then here's one from my formative years. The um, the Kaufman. Uh, uh, there's several of these movies that Mr. Kaufman wrote that are wild as can be, and this is the one where Charlie Kaufman wrote a movie about himself. Writing uh, wrote a movie about himself writing a movie, which that's what adaptation is, and it stars Nicolas Cage. But so like he's writing these weird, wacky as can be movies, like Being John Malkovich. And uh, this was like right as I was discovering indie films, smaller films, and so it was kind of a big movie for me at the time because I was like tracked on that stuff. So, I, but I haven't watched another one. I haven't watched in a long time. All right, and we got a, a package from Kurt. Okay. You chopped the box. Okay, this could be changing what we're... Ah! We have a note. Okay. It's a game. So it's, it is a game. This is from Mighty Wizard and Marvel Villainous. And it's a... You've got a Thanos on there if you can't tell. Infinite power. And then, yeah, it's a Marvel board game. So we're trying to do, especially now that it's summertime and you guys are home all the time, do more like board games like we played Clue just a couple nights ago so we're looking for more games to play so this arrived at the perfect time Yay. of our stage of life to like like each night kind of sit down for a little bit play a board game do something that gets us away from technology because technology is the worst right? yeah it's kind of technology so anyway very cool perfectly timed as well You want to be Thanos? You want to be? Who do you want? Wait, who's your favorite Marvel villain? Venom. Oh, of course. So if Venom is anti-hero. Let's say he's anti-hero. He's kind of a hero. Um, so. Good and bad. Yeah. So if you take villain out of the mix, who is it? Uh, give me. A... I like Holmes and I like symbiotes. Okay, that's true. So Carnage. Yeah. So yesterday, they kind of locked in the release date for Venom 3 to the end of next year. And they moved up the release date for Deadpool 3 by six months today. Deadpool 3 is less than a year away now. Yeah. The one that Mickey Mouse directed. All right, this is from The Daniel Skinner. There is a, there is a note attached. All right, all right. We sent some movies, or sent Ahsoka the book. So deep dive into Ahsoka. And then a five movie John Hughes collection. 
Then we've got a five pack of Stephen King movies, which I've been meaning for the longest time to do like a Stephen King top 20, top 10, something like that. So, but I've been trying to figure out how to do it because there's like 70 adaptations. So I can't rank all of them. Some of them are mini series, so it makes it really tricky. Says definitely recommended this. Okay. That means I'd have to learn how to read though. Oh, you can read to me because you're in school and you know how to read. So that'll help out a little bit. And then Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. A little bit, a little bit late, unfortunately, because I was only so late opening all of this that I actually just watched this one. Um, so I wish I uh, opened this uh, just a couple weeks back. That would have been very helpful. He did have a question in here that do I want to see? He had a couple questions in here. Um, I, it's, how as successful do I think Ahsoka will be? Depends on how good it is. Star Wars fans are frustrated right now, but they're always looking to be won back. So if you have a very Star Wars-y show that's good, people will be excited. Ah. So like you weren't into Andor because it's so grown up and weird and there's not enough laser swords. But you're going to be into Ahsoka, right? Because you like girls. Oh. You know, you're not. You like lights, laser swords. You're not going to be into Ahsoka? You don't like Ahsoka? I like laser swords. Oh, you like laser swords. You're excited for it. I like laser swords. There you go. All right. So you're excited for it. Uh, so, but I think people we've won over. And it's that broad appeal because everybody likes the laser swords. Yeah. Right. There you go. Um, would you like to see a lo uh, Soka, Luke, Ezra Bridger, and others in Mandoverse characters up against Thrawn and his commanders in lightsaber duels? I mean, I assume that's where this is going. So I don't know if I want all of those people, but I want many of those people. And do I want young Master Yoda in James Mangold's movie? I think James, my understanding is James Mangold's movie takes place long before Yoda was born because it's way back at the beginning of course times. All right, so that'll be part one of our fan mail. We have more coming in the near future. We're good for us. We're not even clicking the buttons. We're still recording. But for you, it'll be who knows how long because I'm so slow at editing all this stuff. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and... Keep watching movies too much. Keep watching movies? Talking movies too much. But uh, to, to talk movies too much, you need to watch them too much. So I yeah. guess maybe we can add that into the slogan. Keep watching and talking movies too much. Keep talk watch. Keep twatching too much. 